Hello, and welcome to the Daily Almanac for December 29th. So, let's get started. First day in history! <laughs> On this day in history, December 29th, 1800, Charles Goodyear was born. He was an inventor who developed a way to make rubber useful in making automobile tires and other products. Also, on this day in 1808, Andrew Johnson, who became the 17th President of the United States, was born in Raleigh, North Carolina. He became Vice President in 1864 and became President when Abraham Lincoln was assassinated in 1865. He was an honest and honorable man but was one of the most unfortunate of presidents. A very determined group of congressmen worked against him. They even tried to have him removed from the presidency. And on this day in 1845, Texas joined the Union as the 28th state. The Republic of Texas achieved its independence from Mexico in 1836. The name Texas is a Spanish name coming from an Indian word meaning friends or allies. Texas is the second largest state in the Union in area and is a major oil producer. Austin is the capital. The state flower is the blue bonnet. Today on Word Power, we're going to talk about the word ravenous. If you are ravenous, it means that you are very, very hungry. You might say, after taking a long walk, I always feel ravenous. I feel like I could eat all the food in our kitchen. The word ravenous comes from the old French word ravine, ra as in rat and vine, which means a violent rush. I suppose if you're very hungry or ravenous, you're in a violent rush to gobble up food. <laughs> Today on Extremes, we ask, what kind of bird has the smallest nest ever found? The answer is the vervain hummingbird. The tiny nest of this little bird is less than 0.7 inches or 2 centimeters wide and deep. That means that it's about the size of half a walnut. Imagine that. Health tips. <laughs> Your hair is made up almost entirely of protein. And not only that, hair is as strong as aluminum. If you made a rope out of strands of hair, it could just about lift an automobile. However, hair can't clean itself. Hair can't brush or comb itself either. That's up to you. Keeping your hair cleaned and groomed will help you look good and stay healthy. We love people. <laughs> There are certain powers that neither the national government nor state governments have, according to the Constitution and its amendments. Neither the national nor the state government may grant titles of nobility, permit slavery as the result of the 13th Amendment, deny citizens the right to vote due to race, color, or previous servitude as the result of the 15th Amendment, or deny citizens the right to vote because of gender as the result of the 19th Amendment. Well, that's all the time we have left today for Daily Almanac. Thanks for stopping by, and I hope to see you tomorrow.